So, welcome back again. This is an introduction of CCNA part 3 of the training to become a CCNA Cisco Affiliate. So, basically, it's LAN switching and wireless. So before I start, I would like to welcome and introduce this part of CCNA qualification. Here you will develop an understanding of how switches are interconnected and configured to provide network access to LAN users. Also to how to integrate wireless devices into a LAN. So if you watch it, the other CCNA1 and CCNA2, you probably heard me saying about the materials that I am uploaded here. So you can use to understand a bit more about the CCNA exam. So I'll be just posting here and in my website. So uh, just follow the links. Uh, so for you who didn't hear it before, um, I'll just be uploaded some text documents, some samples, a PPS. Um, you know, sh just showing some examples and the how you can uh, make the most of the materials and uh, understand how network uh, works so as i said before it'd be ideal if you have the equipment the equivalent has a three cisco users three six cisco switches at three pcs and i know it may be unsuitable to have those as well as can be expensive so i'd suggest you use a simulator program uh, the one from Cisco called the Packet Tracer or, or any other free ones you can find on Google uh, the other one I can suggest uh, it's a GNS3 uh, it's quite good <coughs> as I said I cannot upload those softwares on, on my website I'm not allowed to but uh, I'm sure you can find, just Google it, and you'll uh, you'll be able to download from somewhere else. Um, so basically, is uh, well, you know, I hope you enjoy these as much as I do. I keep saying that. I have no intention here to be, you know, the one knows all, or blah blah blah. I just wanted to exchange some knowledge, you know, with you guys, and if you wanna discuss. Uh, just say if I said something wrong or not. Just go on my website, leave some feedback. I'll be happy to uh, to talk to you. It'd be great. You know, I'm sure there must be loads of people like me, loads of you guys just thinking the same as me. You know, just want to learn about networking and CCNA. It's the the basic of all anywhere in the world if you go to. Um, I've already talked about on first video the introduction of CCNA1, some tips to study if you really want to take CCNA exams. Uh, it's, it's, it's quite good if you follow these tips, even though, uh, I mean, even if you not just studying for the exams or just at work as well, it's quite good. Uh, those are, you know, take notes. Um, anybody in any work should do this, especially if you're learning. You, you know you can just use the notes for for your exam or afterwards it's quite good think about it you know while you were studying just revise think ask you know interact uh, it's, it's quite good to uh, just think about how uh, how does the, the you know the course or the work or the things is fitted together uh, the other tip is the practice you know learn new skills uh, require practice uh, Use as much material as, uh, as you can, use examples, use labs, kits, simulator tools. You know, more you do, more you become uh, accustomized with it. Uh, another step, step four, it's a practice again. You know, have you ever thought that you knew something and then when it was time to show it on a test or a work, and you discover that you really had not mastered it? So use those m the materials and revise and revise and practice, practice, practice. It's, you know, it's, it's, it's quite important. And uh, there's another thing that I like it most is teach it. You know, share what you know. Uh, show it to a friend, teach a friend or a colleague or whatever. It's just, you know, it's just nice to, uh, to be telling uh, about it. 
or just you know talk just talk with your friends or colleagues about or if you have an instructor talk about a specific subject it just helps you uh, solidify uh, you understand on the subject and the last step I'd say or in last tip six uh, make change as you go you know no, nobody's the same and uh, you have a different point of view and uh, or you might you know weak in something or you might strong in something else you just uh, you know just uh, try to see a different way of those things and uh, you know if you uh, struggle in something just uh, practice a bit more in that area okay so moving forward let's see um, the primary focus on this part of CCNA3 in LAN switch and wireless LAN it's to develop an understand of how a switch communicates with each other and how routers in a small or medium sized business network uh, you know how does this VLAN segment so layer 2 switch protocols and concepts use the improved redundancy propagate VLAN information secure the portion of the network or in most users access network services switch technologies are relatively straightforward to implement however as with routers the underlying protocols and algorithms are often quite complicated I'll try to use the same topologies as example and all main points of this part of of this uh, CCNA3 just to make simple so you can you know always go back from the basics and understand so I'll be dividing these in seven parts um, as Cisco does so seven parts are uh, part one uh, the VLAN design I'm just showing you know some fundamentals as aspects of the design local area network in particular the Arico uh, network design utilizes the core distribution access layer model. Uh, this will be, you know, introduced and in used as a reference to the to the mind of the rest of the other examples. Uh, the part two, uh, basic switch concepts and configuration, uh, switch forward methods, symmetric and asymmetric switching, memory buffering, layer two and layer three switching. So in this part we will be showing how to get into the CLI mode and make the basic configuration of the switches. So in the part 3, VLANs, showing the present types of VLAN using modern switch network, user data native management and voice VLANs, implementing trunks, uh, so it's a, it's a part of this, uh, of this block here in part 3. So part 4 is VTP. It's a very useful tool, mainly to exchange VLAN information across trunk links, uh, reducing VLAN administration and configuration errors. Uh, you'll learn how to configure, verify, or troubleshoot VTP implementations. It's, it's really good. So part 5, STP. STP makes it possible to implement a redundant physical links in a switch. So learn by creating a logical loop through layer 2 topology. Um, you will learn to configure both original IEE IEE 802.1D implementation of STP as well as the newer IEE 802.1W implementation of Spanning 3. So part 5 is Spanning 3 protocol mostly. So part 6 is inter VLAN routing. It's the process of routing traffic between different VLANs very important as well uh, and part seven uh, the last one it's the basic wireless concepts and configuration so we'll be talking about some uh, how the wireless learn the standards are involved for voice and uh, video traffic so uh, it's the newer standards they, uh, they are kind of supporting uh, quality of service here uh, which is very important also uh, the security SSIDs and MAC filtering so hope you enjoy this part of the CNA3 video